Now that we've seen some hidden weapons and the way that delinquents use them, we're going to consider some professional solutions facing this threat. Utilization of lighter knife, pair intervention. The same situation as before, this time undertaken by two officers. This solution offers better management of the risks. The first officer begins the dialogue, while the second watches the individual's gestures, able to warn his partner in case of danger. The surprise effect being reduced, the domination of the individual will be easier. Close up and slow motion of the disarm and throw. Warned by his partner, the officer would avoid the cigarette and the knife before disarming the delinquent in order to later throw him and control him on the ground. Defense facing a stab to the abdomen. We can observe that the officer adapts his distance so as not to let the individual get too close. He also puts his hands in front in a preventative gesture. These two precautions are going to allow him to see or react to a coming aggression. We observe also that once the individual is disarmed and controlled on the ground, the officer looks where the weapon is found and observes the surroundings looking for possible accomplices. Defense facing knife stab to the abdomen. Another defense for the same attack. This time the officer is cornered by the wall behind him, so he must adapt his security distance doing a hip withdrawal. We observe how, once the individual is on the ground, the officer utilizes the wall to obstruct the delinquent's movement.
Defense with hat, facing knife stab to the abdomen. The officer who can't back up due to the presence of the wall behind him puts his hands in front to impede his aggressor's advance. We will observe that his hands are already in high position, which is going to facilitate grabbing the hat and the realization of the technique. The hits with the hat have a disorienting effect on the delinquent, allowing the officer to practice a disarm technique and take him to the ground. <laughs> 